Setting Scoliosis Straight is proud to share this summary of a HARM study group member's peer-reviewed research publication entitled, The Pros and Cons of Operating Early Versus Late in the Progression of Cerebral Palsy Scoliosis. Cerebral palsy, or CP, is a group of disorders limiting a person's ability to move, balance, and maintain posture. Scoliosis is the most common spinal deformity among CP patients, with 20 to 25% of patients affected. Scoliosis is a significant problem because it can limit a patient's function, balance, and cause other medical problems. For patients with CP and scoliosis, it is important to consider if and when it's best to undergo surgery. Whereas observation is the suggested treatment when there is no progression or loss of function, research suggests that curves greater than 50 degrees at skeletal maturity were likely to progress in CP patients. So, there are typically two potential treatment approaches. If the surgeon takes a proactive approach, Surgery is recommended once there is a risk of the curve progressing or if the curve has a Cobb angle of over 50 degrees. The other approach is reactive, where surgery is recommended only after the curve is large enough to cause the patient or caregiver serious challenges. The purpose of this study was to compare strategies and define a curve threshold for when to operate on patients with CP scoliosis. In this study, Researchers reviewed 124 patients with varying curve sizes with a minimum of two years of post-operative follow-up. To be included in the prospective study, patients had to have a CP diagnosis with total body involvement, be between eight and 21 years old, with a sitting Cobb angle of over 50 degrees or kyphosis of over 70 degrees who underwent a spinal fusion. The patient data were distributed into three groups. Group one included those with curves less than 70 degrees. Group two patients had curves between 70 and 90 degrees, and group three patients had curves greater than 90 degrees. The first group was considered proactive, and the third group was considered reactive. There were 38 patients in group one, 44 in group two, and 42 in group three. The researchers compared radiographic, surgical, and quality of life outcomes between the groups. They analyzed operative time, percentage of anterior or posterior procedures, infection rate, blood loss, length of hospitalization and intensive care unit stay, and the caregiver priorities and child health index of life with disabilities, or CP child score. The results showed the following. The reactive group had longer operative times, higher percentages of anterior or posterior procedures, and higher infection rates. Blood volume loss was significantly higher in the reactive group. There were no differences in length of hospitalization or ICU stay between the groups. CP child scores were higher for the proactive group before surgery, but two years after surgery, the reactive group had lower scores. From this data, we can conclude that there are no clear benefits to operating on a curve less than 70 degrees compared to 70 to 90 degrees. But delaying surgery until the curve surpasses 90 degrees increases surgical risk. Therefore, it is recommended for patients with CP scoliosis to get surgery when the curve is less than 90 degrees. Overall, Surgical intervention for CP scoliosis has proven benefits. Studies show that patients who underwent spinal fusion experienced improvements in sitting and functional ability, physical appearance, comfort, and overall self-image. If you would like to learn more about this research, please give us a like and remember to subscribe to our channel today. If you would like to learn more about our foundation, visit our website at www.settingscoliosisstraight.org. Thank you.